Welcome to the What's New video for the 2025.1 release of VG Studio Max and related products. It is going to provide an overview of the new features available in this version, with a focus on how to find and use them in the software. Object-specific views are a new way of defining visualization and workspace settings for project navigation and reporting. They are similar to bookmarks, but are associated with specific objects, and are displayed below these objects in the scene tree. Creating a view is easy. The reporting ribbon provides access to the relevant functions. Just select the object for which you want to create the view, set up the workspace and visualization settings, and hit Create View. Views can be created below top-level objects like volumes, meshes, or CADs, and also below analyzes and regions of interest. Once a view has been created, it can be applied at any time by double-clicking to activate its stored workspace and visualization settings. You can also inspect a view's properties, which will show its current thumbnail, and also the objects that it references. Views will store settings for the object they belong to, this object's parents, and any visible child objects. All other objects will be set to invisible when the view is applied. Views can also be copied and pasted between similar objects, making it easy to visualize these in the same way. This is especially helpful when inspecting multiple parts. Just set up your views once and reuse them for all your results. They will also be included in evaluation templates that you export, enabling their use in automated scenarios. Views track the objects that they reference and will indicate if any go missing. Once the missing objects are recreated, the view will automatically find them again and change their settings as expected when applied. Alternatively, the view can be updated, which will permanently remove all missing references and associated settings. Views can also be replaced, basically creating a new view from the current workspace and scene state under the existing name. The bookmark tool has been extended to also display any views that are part of the project. They are grouped according to the objects that they belong to. And just like bookmarks, they can be double-clicked to apply the stored workspace and visualization settings. When creating reports, updated images of all views belonging to the reported objects will be automatically included. It is also possible to export the images of all currently selected views using Export View Images. VG Trainer is a new standalone product that allows you to train deep learning segmentation models using your own data. The necessary labeling of the training data can be done inside VG Studio Max using its ROI based segmentation features and exported to VG Trainer for training. The resulting model can then be used with the deep segmentation function in VG Studio Max or VG Inline to segment volume data for further inspection, such as battery anode overhang analysis. VG Trainer comes with a dedicated tutorial, example data, and associated materials. Join the VG community on Nexus or visit our website for more information. It is now possible to include color overlays of geometric tolerances as interactive 3D results and reports. To enable the creation of these color overlays, color coding of deviations must be enabled in the geometric tolerancing dialog, as shown here. In the reporting dialog, there is a new checkbox, 3D result, for the CM group, similar to other objects that support 3D results. When enabled, the created reports will contain an interactive 3D visualization of the combined color overlay of all geometric tolerances belonging to the CM group. Certain workflows require the selection of CAD faces, such as when creating regions of interest from a CAD selection. When such a workflow is active, a new contextual ribbon CAD selection will appear. This ribbon provides access to different selection modes that allow the multi-selection of faces interactively in 3D.
The fit point dialog now includes options for using either a cylindrical or a spherical coordinate system for displaying fit point coordinates. The coordinate mode can be easily changed via the context menu. The cylindrical or spherical coordinate systems used are derived from the currently active coordinate system. To view and edit the fit points of a plane and cylindrical coordinates, it is helpful to first create a sensible reference coordinate system. Fitting a cylinder and aligning the object against it creates such a system. Activating the cylindrical display makes it easy to select only fit points that are above a certain distance from the cylinder's axis. When creating regular elements, there is a new option to restrict the newly fitted geometries to the fit points of the source elements. This is helpful when certain areas of the part's surface should be ignored for the creation of the regular element. For example, you may not want this engraved text to affect the fitting of the outer planes. Note the difference when the setting is toggled on and off. The new option is on by default, but you can disable it to revert to the previous behavior. But that's not all. Be sure to also check out the What's New section on our website or in the software itself for a full view of this version's improvements. And make sure to join the VG community for a full change log, feedback, and discussions. Thanks for watching, and see you next version. Thank you.